Hey guys, you ready to do this? <laughs> I'm dying right now. Um, I was messing with the filters. I don't even know what that says. I have no idea. What do you think? Is it the new me? <laughs> I don't even know if I can paint. I'm dying laughing so hard. Oh my God. I'm gonna leave it for a while, okay? All right. So, part two. If you can take me serious, part two, we're doing this, and this is from my garden. If you watched part one, I did start it on my Nana's page, just for the background, and it's, I don't even know if I'm going to leave it like that. I kind of like it. It kind of looks like a foresty type thing, um, but I'm not sure if I like these white, these white streaks. So if you've already gotten to this point, you can make that background however you want. Um, like I said, you guys do it your way, but if you want to follow along with me, that's great. If you lose track of time and you get behind, don't worry about it. Come back and watch the replay and do it on your own time. Um, it's what, however you guys want to do it. It's whatever you guys want to do. Um, do I look angry? <laughs> do I look angry? I don't know. It's pretty funny. Um, I seriously have to do... <laughs> Hold on a second. Hopefully I don't ruin it. Okay. I just want to take a snapshot of that. Okay. So, I'm wondering... I don't know. What do you think, guys? Should we just leave it? And go ahead and do the... Go ahead and start in on the flowers. Let's go ahead, because we can always, I can always come back and, you know, like fill in that stuff, like make it look like part of the vines or something. So let's go ahead and get an outline of that, of the image that we want on there. So I'm going to close up some of these other paints from earlier. We could probably use cocoa bean. We might use cocoa bean since it's right here instead of black. Get on there. Get on there. So seriously, I'm <laughs> really. All right, hold on. Um, what's this thing do? How about this one? That's awesome. Or um, what's that one? Oh, that's neat. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm having too much fun. This is... So let's quit goofing around. Let's do this. Where's my brush that I want? Um, I'm just getting the outline on there of the flower. Do I want this? I might. I don't want to. All right, let's just get started here. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up so you guys can get a snapshot of it. All right, that dumb thing. Hold on. Hold on, it's still on a th still on a thing. Okay. Okay, if you want to snapshot that. Okay. And that's what we're going by. So, I don't know if this brush is going to be too big, so let's just find out.
Where is my black? Well, we're going with co cocoa bean, coffee bean, because I don't have any black. Guess. Okay. Here we go. So, we're just going to eyeball this. And this is a steak, or a, no, I don't like this brush. It's not working right. I don't like it. I gotta go with something else. This one? That one might work. I get a bunch on here. Alright. So it goes, it goes all the way down to about here. So let's just get it the outline on that. And that's good enough. You just want something to go by. I may have that at too much of an angle, so I'm going to change it up just a little bit. I've never worked on a canvas this large, so. Um, I'm always used to being able to rest my hand, but we'll be fine. You guys can do this on a smaller one, on a smaller version. It's just fine. Whatever you guys want to do, or on a piece of paper. That runs into that. And then the other side is a little bit wider. And then so, almost halfway up, we're going to start that piece of wood right there of the arbor. So it comes straight across and that will be the top of that one. So about halfway right here is the top. I'm going to make a mark and it does go at an angle so it does come up. should pin this to the top of my thing. I wonder if I have a pin. Clip. So if it helps you run your hand down and then run your hand up the angle, then you kind of get, it's almost to the corner there. That's the angle. So always look for reference points. Always look for reference points that you can, you know, that you're looking for. And that helps you get that so I'm going to go right like that. And that works for me. It does not have to be perfect, guys. You're just getting reference marks right now. And this, let's go down a little bit more. Actually, that goes all the way across. But most of the leaves are going to cover that on this other side. So... Let's go ahead and make that line so we do have that. Even though it might get covered up. See, my lines aren't straight. It's going to be okay. I think it's the top of that anyway that is the only part that you can see. Then down below, you're going to see another one. And that one kind of comes up at a, a different angle. Just make your mark and get your reference, like I said. And then you have a side one. And that comes in at another angle. So the, it was just a weird proportion shot that I did. I kind of shot down on the arbor. 
And this comes, this one is, let's go all the way because that one actually comes in about like that. leave that. So there's our arbor. And then we'll, we can, excuse me, I have to get a tissue. Oh my goodness, allergies. the rainy day would make them go away, but it did not. Pardon me, I don't think you want to see me blow my nose. Alright, so, um, Now I want to get maybe the outline of the leaves. Even though we're going to paint this first, I want to get the leaves on there to get proportions of those and then we will do the flower next. I'm going to get everything outlined and then we're going to come back and then we'll start from the underneath the because there's still there's still stuff in the background that I want to maybe highlight a few things. So right now we're just getting the outline. So let's start with that bottom leaf. And you're going to go off of that piece of wood. And it kind of goes off the, the picture. Now just remember the shape of a leaf. This it comes up over to here and covers a lot of that one up. And then we're gonna actually it came out a little bit more. You can always change this, like I said. We're just getting the shape. This came in about here. Okay. Oh, here you have one. That flower here sits right in here. So then there's a leaf out here. We'll put that leaf on after we outline that flower. But there is one up above and it kind of comes out and behind. one over here it comes out like this and that fades up into the top all right I want to get that flower on there so we can see a little bit more Watch your proportions. 
Now that leaf is almost as big as that flower, if not bigger. So keep that in mind. Your petals. That center, maybe that would help. Comes up to here. Kind of an oval there. Leaving room for the other petals on the back side. We'll put them in in a second. I'm changing the shape of that petal just a little bit. If you can see, they're more of a rounded, but I'm putting more of a point to it. So now I'm going to bring in those back-sided petals. I might end up going a little bit bigger here because I want this to fill in. So we can bring them up. Like I said, you can always change this up. Keep getting my foot caught. This one is curled up. I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it like that. It's gonna be fine. Just trying to get the proportion on there right now. This one is facing down. I just want this bigger. I want this to be the main focus of it. So we can keep going bigger and bigger here until I get it where I want it. You guys can stop wherever you want. But see what I mean by just getting the outline on there and then, I mean, don't worry, that's all going to get covered up. So. These down here. This one. Now I'm liking the proportion getting there. It's getting there better, yes. It's getting there better. My English is ridiculous. And then I'm to put some up here. And then this is, <laughs> forgot I had it in my hand. See, we're getting there. We are getting there. So I'm going to leave that as is right there. So let's 
focus on, now I want to put that leaf in actually, that I want to get in there. So it actually sits right out here. So let's put that on there. Let's get this a little bit bigger. And this a little bit bigger. Okay, now. This almost comes out, clear out. That like that, that's the leaf. And there is one underneath that. Let's just go ahead and make that that big. Uh, that's what I want it that big. This up here, I'm going to have to, see, I already have to change this up. But you know what? We can add more leaves. We can add more leaves if we want. It's going to be all in the detail. This one's going to take quite a while, so this will be fun Be fun to work with. Let's see, so this one is a leaf, and then that is an underneath side leaf. See, I'm changing it all up. And then I'm going to add a big old leaf up here, just to bring that that picture kind of into view, kind of more proportion. So I know that's a leaf, and then that's the board to that pergola. Okay. Now let's work on that other flower. This, I need a chair. So it's facing down. And it just comes to that, that board. And here's the board. Over top of this, that leaf is crazy. That leaf is crazy big, but I know it's. I know it's supposed to be, but you know what? We're gonna add. Maybe we're just gonna add a, a thing. leaf got really big, but I think, I think I still want to go bigger here. Bigger and bigger. Alright, so this one, I want to move it a little bit because I'm going to put all those vines in there too, so there's like a vine that actually runs like, we're going to run it here. that fellow petal and then under here and we'll just run it right up to that and then one runs off of it from goes up there and then this one then there's a vine that runs off of it and we'll just put it right to that leaf 
Okay. So, this flower, the second flower, is right in here. In fact, I might make that really big, just like the other one, but I'm going to face it the other way. Just to maybe cover up a little bit of that. So, have that effect. The little pokey things coming straight off that. That stamen comes up like off of there. So like that. I want to add another one. Let's just add another one right here. Leaves. Let's add a few leaves. Well, that one is huge. All right, let's make this. Let's get these a little bit bigger because that bottom leaf is overwhelming. And we can make that other one a little bit bigger. So that's what this painting is all about, is this passion flower itself. So. That's what I want to focus on. Flower, flower, flower. I did add the third one. Do we want any more leaves here and there? Actually, the leaf coming off of this. Fine, right there. Why don't we do that? since those are bigger. OK. 
Okay. Oh, we need some leaves up there. All right. Love our chair. These are vines. Here. And we can put a vine over here because this that's a bit much. And then at the very end, hi Tammy, at the very end we will add, where's that at? There's little curly cues. You see that one right up there? We'll add that at the very end. These little fine details. There was another one. Oh, where'd it go? Right down here. Is that little cute curly? We'll add all those little details in later on. So right now we are just getting the outline going. And I'm gonna add live here a little bit and just make some leaves. Make this into a vine instead of that great big leaf there. I'm gonna change that. So And we gotta do something with that top. What we could do get out of another stick. Just make one of our own. And then these leaves are pretty ginormous. So um let's See if we can tone them down a little bit. That one there. Some are just up more close than others. Like that down there, we will may work this area a little different when we get to it. Let's go ahead and make that look like a vine coming down there. Next, these leaves. All right, I think we're ready to get some color on there, guys. So um, let's take a break, and we'll come back to it for part three. All right, see you in a second.